Hi y'all, so I thought I would start explaining, so this will be in little clips, I'll put it all together, but what was going on. So right now we're door dashing, so that's something we've been doing, so I haven't had a lot of time, because um, we've been door dashing, trying to make some extra money, because LJ's back went out again, and he was like about a week, week or two weeks, two weeks without a paycheck, so we've been door dashing. Um, what else happened? So the end of February, the beginning of March, they found my the last two sisters, last two siblings of my dad that were alive. Um, they were living, uh, well, anyway, they were living together, my two aunts, which I'd only met one of them. And Charlotte, the one I haven't met was the one I had found on my Ancestry.com. Those of you who have been here long enough remember I did Ancestry.com. So, and then I started finding cousins and stuff, but the only one I was really interacting with was my Aunt Charlotte. Well, they found her, that her and my Aunt Nancy at the beginning of March, um, not living. <laughs> um, you know, passed away. In uh, their cabin, house, they lived in the mountains kind of sort of so anyway um that happened it was kind of devastating even though I, I hadn't seen my aunt Nancy since I was pregnant with my oldest daughter and she's now 25 and then my aunt Charlotte I never met but I had hopes of meeting my aunt Charlotte and seeing my aunt Nancy again and that was not possible now um but they don't know what happened so far they're still waiting on the coroner's uh you know findings from the autopsy but so there'll be a more in detail story about that if I ever get the answers. But I came in contact with some of my cousins, and one of them is this beautiful woman named Oh, they're all beautiful. But Darlene's the one that like contacted me about Aunt Charlotte and Aunt Nancy. She used to be a stunt woman. I'm so impressed with her. She is my cousin that my uncle raised elephants, it's his daughter, so she grew up in the circus because he trained elephants and raised elephants. Anyway, so if you're watching Darlene, you're amazing. All my cousins are. They're way different than my mom's side of the family. Let's just say extreme opposites that I can tell so far, which doesn't say anything about our Williams family, my dad's side, because <laughs> they all left home, didn't get back together, whatnot, so maybe it's genetic to be one way or the other I don't know but anyway totally different mostly we have a little cousins chat I'm excited about that so there's that that happened then in oh April 20th which is a sad day for me because that's when my friend Liz died if you've been with me long enough and so April 20th, this past April 20th, um, a, a good friend of mine who I considered like a brother, he had struggled with drugs for a long time and uh, he took his own life. He unalived himself. And so um, that was really hard for me. I hadn't seen him in a while. And the last time I saw him, like things were awkward between us because he came to stay with me and LJ for a while not a little while after my mom passed and then I know he was back on drugs because he was trying to stay clean and I wasn't mad at him but I think he thought so things were like real awkward for us and I should have gone up and said something to him something told me to and I didn't so if you ever have an intuition that tells you go say hi to that person or speak to that person please go do it because now I regret not doing it so there's that okay now all kinds of heck breaks loose um, was it in May that Rihanna fell? Yes. Okay, so beginning or ending of May, my oldest had a seizure. Never had one before, or the, not that we know of, but it was a bad, bad one. Her, her fiancé had come home after work, and, like, her lips were blue. And I didn't get to see it, and I'm glad. I mean, I wish I'd been there for her, but I'm glad I didn't see it. I... Anyway, she had a seizure. They took her to the hospital. She's got, we're waiting. We're on a waiting list for the neurologist. So then after that, what happened was 
two days after that, she decides she needs chicken nuggets. So her fiance took her, you know, to go get some chicken nuggets and get out of the house. She'd rested for a few days. Her balance was still off between the new med they gave her to keep her from having another one and then the seizure, her balance was off. She fell off the stop, like their porch, which is like three steps high. And I guess the way she fell, she broke her tibia, but she shattered her ankle. Let's just say she's had surgery. She's supposed to be keeping it, elevating it above her head. But yeah, and it's just, that's a crazy, that's just, that's a whole crazy experience in itself. So that's, a whole lot of crazies happened and I had, I was so tired and I, I couldn't get motivated for videos. Well, she put me, my doctor upped my, uh, I'm on two antidepressants and the second one she upped and then she also put me on a mood stabilizer and my thyroid is low. So she had to up my, my thyroid is slowing even more down and so she had to up my thyroid medication. So I'm finally feeling like a person again. Like I can get up and do some stuff that my body will allow me to do. I started my garden. I'm gonna have to videotape for y'all. So that in a nutshell, I hope tells you what's been going on. Now, as far as what are we gonna do? Well, I'm thinking about just shortening the name to Manic Mama or Manic, yeah, Manic Mama or making it Manic Mama's Adventures. And I think I want to do Manic Mama's Adventures because my ch channel's not going to be just about crocheting, never has been. Um, I'm going to start spending more time working on the van to get it ready for if and when LJ ever gets to go on the road with me. And um, so I'm going to put some, I'm going to do videos about that. And I think my videos will be in the van from now on because this is going to be the life someday that I want. Might change, but right now, I would love to be living in my van and traveling to see all of you lovely people and to just see all the sights there is to see. So, not yet, but I think I'm going to start talking about our progress, like working on the van because there's a few mechanical things that need to be done before I t we take a big trip and all of that good stuff. So there will be van adventures. There will still be crochet. I am crocheting right now while we're waiting for a DoorDash order. Um, this is the blanket. If you've been with me for a while, if you remember was, I started when we were in Rio Dosa when we went on our vacation in October for two weeks. I started it, I've not worked on it. My plans were to work on it every time we went on a trip, but that's not happened. So it's never going to get done, so I'm going to start working on it when we're door dashing until it's just too, it's too big and hot for me to work on in the van. So there's that. I have lots of other stuff that I've been making like crazy because I, yeah. So I have that to share with you eventually, like I might, anyway. So that, I hope in a nutshell, has explained kind of, sort of, where we're at. Um... I'm sorry to say that I did not, I think I'll have to find some of my pictures. I had a beautiful subscriber slash family member. That's what I consider y'all. Come see me, Karen Smith. Her and her husband, Madison Roswell, New Mexico. That was amazing. I got to see them. She brought me this cup and some other uh, cool surprises. Look, it's got the yarn ball and my name and it's my favorite color. A sweater that's not in here that she made herself but she's lost so much weight that it doesn't fit her so I got it and hey I'll be fat and sassy and wear that sweater let me tell you so super great meeting them and spending time with them LJ and Greg her husband got along great of course Karen I consider her one of my best friends um, it was not a as long as we wanted to stay we were gonna try to stay a week but we couldn't uh, stuff just stuff went on oh and to back up about my daughter before all of that so I don't know remember what way something went wrong with the caddy so they quit they have had a caddy a BMW and then Rihanna's what is it Nissan, uh, Nissan, Rogue. Nissan, Rogue, Nissan Rogue the Nissan Rogue's name is Linda I don't think he's named his vehicles but here's Linda that's Rihanna's car if you remember so 
the Cadillac. Something went wrong. I don't remember what. They still had the BMW and the Rogue. Then they were coming home one night late from free, from where some, Rihanna has some friends out of town and they had gone in and hung out with them. And so they were coming back two, three in the morning, you know, young people, you know how they are on the highway, pitch black and Rihanna's driving. And there was a semi tire stretched out across the road and Rihanna hit it, um, not being able to see it in time. And it pulled the whole underneath the, the whole radiator out of the car. So it's totaled. And then a week or two later, I think, Faustine was driving Rihanna's vehicle. And this man hit him. Like it was a, a an intersection. And Faustine had the right of way. And that guy tried to run the light or whatever he did. It didn't get totaled that we know of, um, but the, his insurance paying for everything, so we're waiting for that to get fixed. So the car, it, our car, because we have a car and a van, our car is at. So Rihanna and her fiance have just had a really bad few months, probably three months. So if y'all could keep them in your thoughts, I'd appreciate that because it just seems like when one thing settles down, something else happens. So yeah. Um, but that's where we are. I think I don't know how I got distracted. Y'all know me. So, I am so excited to share you, to share with you about my cousins. I found cousins in Florida. I found cousins in Washington. I think there's some in California. And we want to all get together. Like, they're like me. They're excited to know their cousins from the Williams side because we didn't grow up knowing each other most of us a few of us did but like me and my sisters we knew um my aunt nancy's kids well two of them they came to live with us when we were kids other than that i don't believe we met uncle rex's kids one time we had gone to a circus that they were doing you know near us and uh but we don't remember each other darling and i don't like they were busy rehearsing and we got to get on an elephant. My Uncle Rex is the reason I love elephants, by the way. So I think that's it. I'm going to try to get Captain Amazing over here. Hi. To um, start doing a little segment. I haven't decided what I want him to do on the channel, but this is he and I's channel. So I'm trying to decide whether I want him to talk about music or just talk about me. He could tell you all the funny stuff I do, but... Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, I don't know. He's gonna have a little segment. We're gonna do talk about the van. We're gonna talk about crocheting. Talk about whatever happens to be the adventure for the week. I will try to have one day dedicated during the week to crochet, um, and that way I can share it every week with you. I believe I'm I am joining in late on the things we're making Thursday. I want to try to make that bag. I think I do. We'll see. I got some stuff already working on, but yeah. So, because I got to be able to, I can't do it while I'm door dashing because I'll be able to watch a video or you get the idea. So, okay, I think I rambled on enough. Uh, questions are welcome. If you want to know anything, I would love to hear them. And yeah, that's it for today or, well, for right now. There is a, the, we have this thing called cruise. I forgot. Gearhead gear. Well, that's the, the gearhead gathering, which is a whole bunch of cars, uh, you know, like decked out cars. That's going on. And then tonight is the cruise, but it's called the cruise in Maine. Okay. And we do it every year and it's this huge event. We thought we were going cruise in Maine. I don't know if we are or not, um, but we're going to try to get some footage to put together for a video about like Clovis happenings, um, stuff that's happening in our town and especially stuff that happens every year. In case you ever decide to come visit me and you wanna hit up uh, something that's happening because we have the music festival, that was last month. Then this month we have the cruise in Maine plus we have a pride fest I'm hoping to get video of that's next weekend. Um, we have quite a bit of stuff that actually happens in our little town so maybe I can start doing Clovis happenings and maybe someday somebody will be interested when they're when they're you know when they're wanting an adventure so I love y'all we will talk to y'all later peace